Martini Gavotte. First piece in book three and the reason that we have all those pieces with multiple repeats and that we practice keeping track of where we're up to in pieces. So when you're playing book two review or Gossip Gavotte back in book one, it's great to play all the repeats because it's actually practice staying focused, staying on track in a lengthy story and that really kicks in when you hit book three and suddenly you have longer pieces with more sections that need that mental stamina as well as the physical stamina. So if you've been playing Minuet in G and Boccherini with all of their repeats, this piece will be a walk in the park. If you haven't quite got those two working well yet, really sit down and listen to them tracking along with the music and then try and apply those skills to this piece. Sit down, track along with a pencil whole piece and a lot of you I know have highlighted your music so that the theme is one color and then each subsequent new section is highlighted in a different color so you go okay I've got the pink bit then I've got the blue bit then I've got the pink bit then I've got the yellow bit then I've got the pink bit then I've got the orange bit and that's another neat way of keeping track just helps the adults a lot as well so I'm going to play from the beginning and I'm going to play just the pink part, okay? Just the theme. So we'll just make sure that that's in tune and we have semitones and tones working well. Ready and touch. finding mission am I playing natural twos that touch the first finger or am I playing sharp twos that touch the third finger well there's only one sharp in the key signature and it's an F sharp so most of the time we're only thinking about that high two position when we hit the D string and then we want to touch the third finger but when I'm plodding along on A string B C that's a semitone D G R do you see that little bit of geography one touch the reeds is a whole tone away. And then when I come across to the E string, I'm using that first finger to place my second finger accurately. The other clue is that if it doesn't ring, it's wrong because that's a G and it should make your G vibrating sympathy. Oh yeah, okay, that's working. Mm, no, not so much. Okay, so make sure that your semitones and tone navigation is really switched on. Oh, like Minnie Ray and G, right? We've already practiced that quick second finger navigating two different locations. Walk in the park. Okay, let's play our first theme one more time because now we know whether we're playing high twos or low twos. You might want to stop and mark semitones in your music. Just hit pause here. Do that if you need to. Ready, play. So that's our first theme. Okay, now the section B. Oh, it's minor. Get your B flats ready. Three blind mice. Again. Yeah, make sure your three's ringing, please. Ready, play. Okay, let's continue on. I'll go a little slower. Ready, and. F sharp. a little complex with the string crossings and the low ones and the ringing threes if this is giving you grief go back to two grenadiers okay because that <laughs> will help you sort out your ringing threes and your low one position ready again at the letter b it's bar mm, eight eight and a half it's halfway through bar eight ready up I 
I'm stopping my bow more firmly than I would usually and dropping my arm to get to E string. Okay, let's do that section one more time. And if you want to stop and do it five more times, do it. I'll never know. Ready? And. Again, you know that. You can pause me and play it again if you want, or we can just head on to the next part. Where's the next? Oh, okay, it's bar 24. That note is a D sharp. You've already played it, it's not you. You can choose to play it as a high three or as a low four. Doesn't matter which finger you use, it should sound the same. It's still a D sharp. Now, you've already played this way back in book one. Yeah, you remember Minuet too, right? You also played it in Judas Maccabeus. And it said hello again in Witch's Dance. And then again in Boccarini, okay? Actually play this bit. There it is. So this D sharp is old, but sometimes it's a, a tripping hazard here. So let's play from the four, three, two, three, two, one, two, one, E D sharp one. Just that chunk. Ready? Go. Great. Again. Ready? Go. It's great you have that whole E crotchet to get ready for the D sharp. Again, ready, play. You can also play it as a high three. I prefer the low four, so that's what I'm doing. But if you really want to use a high three, go for your life. One more time, ready, play. Hold that one, you're going to recycle it and go on. Slide your one back. This, I don't know why this is a sticky point. Hold on, yes I do. It's because there's a tone and a half between your first and second finger. Here, on the G. And because it's happening on the back of your violin, it feels like an even bigger step. Because you've already played this tone and a half business. It was back in the League of Art when you played. sharp F natural? Yeah, okay, so this high two low one isn't new, but rolling over the strings is. And if you don't bring your left elbow, you're going to get it wrong. So, one, A, three, four, three, two, three, two, one, slide back, roll over. Do you know, that's too much to practice. Let's just play the first finger on D string. Regular boring first finger on D. Go busy, busy, stop, stop, like me. Ready, go. Mm, again, just ringing first finger on D. Nice posture, tip of your finger. Ready, go. Okay, now slide it back half a tone to E sharp. Mm. Mm, go again. E natural, D sharp. There are two notes. Ready, play. Slide. D sharp. Go again. Slide D sharp. One more time. Ready, play. Can you see my second finger? Yeah, okay. See my arm rolling through? Roll, dump. Hmm. Let's play just the D sharp and then roll and dump the second finger on G. Ready? Low one. Roll, dump. Go again. Roll, dump. I'll give you the other side's perspective. Ready, play. Roll, dump. So my arm really does travel a long way underneath my violin, okay? If I don't do the traveling, my second finger won't be in tune or you'll be reaching and getting a like strain through the back of your hand. I don't want bad habits and pain, painful habits are bad. So let's play. No, 
more. Let's play it much slower than that. Okay, that's that's ridiculous. Ready? Slowly. Ready? Go. Fly back. Down. Good. Let's go again. Ready? Play. If this is giving you any grief, take the bowing out, okay, and just play round pony. If the slurs are a problem, get rid of them, put them back in when the left hand has everything under control. Okay, I'm going to play that whole chunk now at a slightly more moderate tempo. Yum, da da dum, da da, ready, and... Now drop onto D string. I love this part. It's so easy. Okay, let's just play that second half of the chunk again. Ya da 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 ya da 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 da. It's very similar to Boccherini. That's why it's easy because we've done something so similar to this before. Ready, play. Ringing for. Good, let's do that a little bit one more time. Ready, and. Up, 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 down, up, down. Okay, whole chunk without any fancy stopping business. This is bar 24, in case you're lost. It's the end of the fifth line. Ready, up. Last line in the first page. This part. And an echo. You really need to choose here whether you're going to play 4-3-A-1 or A-3-A-1. It's not a huge difference. If you can do lovely subtle string crossings, fine. Or I prefer the 4-3-A-1 because then there's only one crossing in the slur, but that's my personal opinion. If you really want to play it the other way, then make sure your string crossings are very smooth and I'm sure that will be fine. Let's try from bar 40. Ready? And. Cross. Quietly. Cross. It's usually pretty easy, but if you want, just you know, rewind me a bit, play it again. We're up to section E, bar 56. It looks kind of familiar, it looks a lot like the part C that we already played back on the first page. Oh, that's different. Now, I think of this as the first time I played this idea, I had to eat my vegetables. Okay, that's like the, the tricky part with the and the they're both a little bit tricky so they're my veggies at the start now i've played that part i get dessert on page two so i have the easy ending super easy and because it's so easy i have a little party to celebrate which is a bit more lively than on page one right where it's all slurred So let's play from bar 66 again. And we're thinking this is the dessert option. This is the easy option. And I always write the fingers in here because there's nothing worse than getting up to this section and going, ah, oh, oh. you just want it easy for your brain to say, hey, first finger, this is you. Third finger, this is you. This is the easy section. We played the vegetables on page one. This is dessert on page two. Okay, ready at E and... Different 
Stay up. Okay, let's do it one more time because it's similar but different, which makes it tricky. Ready and. Okay, we're fine, cool. We have our last new section to learn. Section F, which starts on an F natural. Surprise, surprise. This is bar 73. And again, if you are nailing your two grenadiers and your gavotte for mignon and your lodi gavotte, then this shouldn't give you any trouble, okay? So we're going to start with our low one on the E string. Yes, I took all the slurs out. Just get the left hand right first. You know how it's supposed to sound? Match your left hand fingers up to the notes in your head. Ignore the bowing, that's an unnecessary complication right now. Ready, and. And again, ready, go. those bits where you need your magnet collection okay you know my dozen magnets put them all on one side of your music stand every time you do it right get a magnet across or use an abacus or use pegs or stickers or whatever you want okay maybe every time you get it right you can put a dot on mom I don't know make something up ready low one separate bows play Let's try it with the slurs. Ready, and. Again, go. There's actually only one low one in here, right? Did you notice that? It's just the F natural and the E string. And you heard the G sharp. I know you heard that high three. So that's easy for you. We already talked about that high three. Old idea. Played it on page one. Played it back in book one. Boring and easy. Next little phrase. Start with your fourth finger on A. This is bar 74. In this phrase, please listen for the fourth fingers to ring. Okay, that should be an E. So every time you play a G or a D or an A or an E, it should trigger sympathetic resonance from the open string with the same A. So if you're playing a fourth finger on A, because that's the note E, your E string should be ringing in sympathy. Okay? If it's not, then your finger's out of tune. Or maybe your violin is. Stop and check your violin is well in tune. It's a good excuse, hey? Okay, so start with your fourth finger on A. Ready, set for bows. Ready, and. Try it slow. You don't have to. I'm going to add the slurs this time. Ready, go. Again, ready, play. Okay, I'm going to stick those two bits together because if I can play those, I can probably play the next part pretty easily. So back to the letter F, uh, it's the F natural that's in bar 72. Okay, so if you need them in 69, is it the start of line 69, 70, 71, 72. Oh, there's that F natural, that low one. Highlight it, okay, it's the start of a dodgy section. You've probably color coded all your music already, so you don't need me to tell you this. F natural, ready, play. Was it good? One more time just to make sure. Set your low one on. E string. I bet your first finger went out of tune in that last bit. Let's play from bar 78 
three, two, one, and make sure that you keep your fingers on their tips. Please don't let them go flat. Don't let your wrist come up. Keep your elbow forward. All the lovely things, all the nice habits. Third finger, play. And again, and. You kind of already played it on the first page. It's just these notes. Yeah. With a bit of rearranging, it's like Martini found a scale and stirred it up a little bit, that's all. Ready, and. With the slurs for me, add them if you like, keep them out if you're not ready. And. Better, one more time. Okay, let's play all of F Natural's F section. Are you ready? Martini Gaba. When you're feeling like it's all flowing beautifully, um, hop onto the book three play along video and play along because it's a pretty long piece and this is a pretty long video. It's like a whole lesson just on Martini Gaba. And it might take you a few days to work through this video right to the end. You might find that day one you like have to pause it after five minutes and it takes you like four days to get to the end and go, oh, I've actually got all the bits working really well now. And then maybe on day six and seven, you try putting it together or you just play along with me in this video and then you hop over and do the play along. I would love to hear a rendition or see your video when you are feeling confident and accomplished with your martini. <laughs> 